Hello all. We are back in my shop and just doing a quick update here because I've got my spindle moving. So let's uh, make that happen. Just like the theme of my recent videos, I haven't documented any of my builds, so I think it was about time to do so. Um, I have taken the protective film off here prematurely. It's just right over there. Because I think it's making the video, I'm not doing this justice, it's making it look real big. I think it was just kind of the glare. But all right, let's take a look at here. This is the inverter. I did make sure that this only turns on when the CNC system's running. This is the 110 AC instead of the 220. And here is the spindle, the 110 volt spindle. Um, one thing to note is this is not 80 millimeters, it's 65. Did not know that until I bought the mount, the 80 millimeter mount, and did not find the same mount that I liked in the 65 millimeters, so I will be probably cutting out one for myself the very first thing. If you guys have seen the other videos, you kind of know how this whole system works. That's the light would represent the cooling, which would be running in through those lines there once it's running. And once we make sure reset, it says ready, a hitting reset, and test spindle. See what it sounds like. with any of the settings lots of them in there gotta go through so I don't know if that was its full capacity but even if it was I would not be that disappointed given the fact that this is 110 volt not 220 so we can write all right and we've done the cooling here we go on the piece moving oh I guess I can kind of show you what it looks like here this M5 moves to M3 when the spindle starts. And I do have the speed setting on here, but I decided not to use the setting through the controller and use it here, the potentiometer on the unit itself. But that may change. And if so, then I can set the control or the speed from the, the controller. Hope you folks are having a wonderful day. Back to work for myself. <laughs> 